Hi, I'm Susan Feniger, and I'm here on the set of Home and Family cooking up some Passover specials for tonight. So there's, you know, one thing you might want to think about doing if you're watching the show is to add the noodles. <laughs> After you mix everything together, the butter, the sugar, the eggs, the cream cheese, the uh, sour cream and the cottage cheese, then you fold in the noodles along with the egg whites and then put it in your buttered casserole. I don't know, Christina, she needs to learn how to cook. Um, but you know, I love, the thing is noodle cook is simple and it's very, very traditional. So for sure you want to go ahead and do that and top it with those sugar frosted flakes for sure. And then, you know, I love making brisket. I grew up on brisket. The trick with brisket is that you want it. I like to sear it ahead first and then cook it covered three fourths of the way with liquid and cook it nice and slow. And it depends. Sometimes some briskets will be done in two and a half hours. Sometimes it'll take four hours. So you always want to check to make sure when you stick a fork in, it's fork tender, sort of falls off the fork. If it's too tough, it's no good. And then, you know, I always love to add applesauce. We make a horseradish cream with cream and horseradish, just prepared horseradish, salt, pepper. That combination with the sweetness of the applesauce and the tang of the horseradish with the chipotle glaze on the brisket is absolutely perfect. And then you've got the richness of the kugel. So that makes the perfect meal, whether it's Passover or any day of the week. It's great and it's great for leftovers. So I think that's, you know, that's what I would recommend to you. Also, if you've never been to a Seder or you've been to many Seders, we do second night of Seder on the 15th of April at Mud Hen Tavern on Highland, just above Melrose. We're doing the most amazing Seder dinner. We have a service, it's literally 20 minutes with a rabbi and it's casual and informal. You don't have to be Jewish. It's great just to sort of learn a little bit about the culture and eat great food and drink. So if you're thinking about it, Go to mudhentavern.com and come see us on the 15th of April. It's a great way to explore what Passover is and not have it take too long.